Hey guys, this is Rise, and I'm here with Cholera bringing you set three of Jadong vs. By Hero. And if you haven't been watching so far, well, I'm about to spoil it for you. Jadong is up 2 0. Oh, that's right. As expected, Jadong is just destroying By Hero in a ZVZ matchup. That which Jadong is best at, he is continuing to be the best at, just bolstering his uh, record of almost 80% win rate. It, it may actually be 80% after winning the last two matches that he has. I'm not actually sure. But either way, Jadon proven why he is the best in ZVZ today. And um, I got to be honest, I got a feeling that he's going to just do that one more time right now and probably take the entire series 3-0. Um, and, and I am not spoiled. I have not seen any of these matches. But just judging by the level of play coming from both players, I don't think that By Hero has that level of play inside of him to overcome the ZVZ Imba that is Jadong. And, I mean, I don't know, Collar, if you have any different opinions in this, but uh, <laughs> I got to say, I think that Jadong is about to clean up. Yeah, I mean, it feels like I, I, I want to I wanna just give his... Um really his epitaph right now or his obituary for this series because you know I want to praise him for getting this far let's let's take a moment to praise by hero here by hero started off really as a, a guy nobody really knew much about uh, from STX you know he was just another Zerg like I said like shine Cal and the Zerg and Firefist all of them got into the round of 36 but in the round of 36 by hero in his first ever OSL appearance by the way beat Bisu he beat Bisu heads up Kids yep. up, you know. It's like Only sitting kid. down next to Teddy Teddy KGB. You know, he cleaned Teddy KGB out the first time he ever <laughs> played poker. <laughs> he beat Bisu, two zero, and Bisu almost got knocked out, but then he hacked his way back in, and then he went on to beat a number <laughs> of very good players. Um, he he was tied in among three players with uh, Fantasy and Lita, and he beat Lita. Uh, Fantasy also beat Lita, but he also beat Lita. Uh, and then, of course, he beat Hwasen, and now he's going to lose most likely to Jadong. But anyway, by Hero at the upper right of Sin Chipong Ryung in blue. Jadong in white at the bottom left of Sin Chipong in white. Bottom left. Well, you... You, you just gave uh, By Hero a moment of praise. I, however, am going to give him a moment of silence before he dies to j Dog and gets destroyed and kicked out of this OSL uh, on the street like a bum. Back to the Pro League. Uh, certainly, he did have, he definitely did have a good performance <laughs> up until here. And honestly, it's it's really it's too bad that this was in the cards for him to have to play against j Dog Because honestly, if he didn't have to play j Dog, if he had to play any other player in the league right now, I think that he could actually win this OSL but that's what it comes down to in the end if Jadong is just going to overpower everyone to begin with uh, he would have had to face him in the finals you know or somewhere earlier so uh, you know really I guess there's nothing to even say about it at that point Jadong I think is uh, just placing himself in a great position in order to win this match and uh, it looks like Jadong actually going for a nine pool whereas we're going to see some sort of overbuild coming from my hero right away and Sin Chipong Ryung is, is a kind of a fun map and in mirror matches in general, we don't really see many uh, expansions. I guess we don't really see that many in Zerg matches, uh, Zerg mirror matches in general either. But um, I I'm curious as if uh, Jadung will stick to one base hero, also try to go for a early hatchery, or if we'll see that from by hero. Uh, I would only imagine that that either either playing doing that may be doing it to their detriment because of the natural expansion setup of Sin Chipong Ryong. And it looks like we are going to see a 12 pool into gas from by hero. But uh, what do you think? Collar, you think that this nine pool is just going to own that, or or does does by hero actually have a chance at this point? Well, like I was saying, I mean, before we used to say uh, nine pool gets owned by twelve pool, but it's actually not true. By hero is probably going to go for an expansion here, and he is going to go for the expansion, as we can tell. The drone moving out here, and it really doesn't um, when when uh. <laughs> uh, when twelve pool goes for an expansion and nine pool could do some damage before uh, you know twelve pool gets his uh, his lings out. Now, if twelve pool did his hatchery, put his hatchery inside of his base, um, he he can you know avoid so much damage. He he can avoid either losing this hatchery or uh, losing some drones just because he can uh, protect the hatchery with his drones and, and with his links. He don't have to travel so far. So now, most likely, when Jadong spots this, he's going to either go for the drones or go for this hatchery and knock it down before he even has a chance to go up. Uh, but if he can't do them, these two, if somehow, by a miracle, by hero manages to defend himself properly, then Jadong is going to have a little bit of an advantage because Jadong is going to be a little bit faster, uh, sorry, a little bit behind on drones, but as we can see, by hero cancels his hatchery. That by itself is enough damage that Jadong has done, but by hero might lose some more stuff also inside of his base. 
Wow, so it looks like he may actually lose a couple of drones. Jadong almost getting one out. Jadong doing a great job with his micro, taking out straggling lings that are caught all out of position. Wow. Drones not mining gas, not mining minerals. And wow, Jadog is overpowering by Hero. Look at the oh, minimap. Man. He is streaming more Zerglings over. So, um, and look at by Hero. He's got so many drones just sitting there, not mining. He's trying to put down a oh, sunken. Jadong may actually be able to take that out before it ever goes down. And Jadong is so far ahead right now. I don't think there's any way that by Hero can ever get back into this match oh. or this set or or, or anything. And Jadong just continuing to pick units off. That sunken looks like it's going to go down, but Jadong's going to take out all the links, and he's just got more links than my hero has to begin oh, with. He's going to start taking out drones. drones. One out. drone down, two drone down, three drones going down, more links going down for my hero. My oh, hero is so oh, far man. behind. Four drones going down, fifth drone oh. about to go down. Jadong finally getting some hits from the, uh, five drones go down. He's finally taking hits from the suck, and he's going to have to back off from now, but look how many drones my hero has. My hero knows that he's already out of this OSL. Jadong is just completely solidified his seat into the finals of the OSL playing against Fantasy. In this point, there is nothing that Bahiro can do about it. He is so far behind. Jadon can not. It is not in his, his destiny. <laughs> I don't know what. There's no way that Jadon could possibly lose this match at this point. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Jadong, the only thing he could do, he wouldn't even lose if he put down a Hydralist Den. He wouldn't lose if he put down a Queen's Nest right now. I don't think he would lose if he had a seizure. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Oh, man, bye, Hero. You, I feel bad for this kid. He looks so young. I don't know how old he is, but he also has half the food count of Jadong. He has six right now. Six. He's got six drones. That's it. <laughs> They're all mining ga minerals because he... <laughs> I don't even know what his strategy is right now. I mean, the game is over, like you said. Um, you know, I gotta say, it's not it, the only way. By Hero could have avoided Jadong, of course, if, if if you know the the situation was slightly different. If Jadong faced Bisu or Fancy and got knocked out, and then By Hero <laughs> managed to win against the other one, but uh, that didn't happen. And Jadong going in for a snipe this time, it won't work. Does uh, does By Hero even have speed yet for Ling? No, he doesn't even have Ling speed, so he can't even possibly think about uh, a Ling counter attack. I mean, there's. Uh, I mean, Jadong's just taken over this game, uh, and oh man, there's another <laughs> drone going down. Jadong just being careful, getting a sunken colony like he's going to need it, um, because uh, guess what? By Hero doesn't have anything that shoots up, so uh, Jadong <laughs> is going to have Mutalisks, and uh, he can just, it's its over. Um, and, and, you know, it, it's unfortunate By Hero went all this far just to get, uh, you know, embarrassed at how badly he got beaten by Jadong, you know, it's kind of an embarrassing loss for him, but uh, it, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I guess he's probably embarrassed, but I don't really think he should be. I, I don't think there's any way he could be. And and Jadong about to get a <laughs> GG out of this kid. He's about to lose the rest of his drone, drones. I mean, Jadong at this What's point is for? dancing dancing in his seat going, I'm going to the finals. I'm going to the finals. And and by hero, finally GG's. And, and Jadong, once again, man, he, he is just overpowered him in a ZVZ. By hero, visibly upset. Um, he had gotten so far in his first trip to the OSL, a uh, very great, very great play all the way through by, by Hero. And, and again, you know, he's someone that I'm personally going to be keeping my eye on as he moves forward in the pro leagues, in other single league seasons. Uh, but for now, the story is all about Jadong, and Jadong is in fact going to the finals. And I got to say, I think that Jadong is favored to win this OSL. Uh, I, he obviously doesn't have an OSL title under his belt yet, and so he'll be able to finally put that notch in his belt. <clears throat> Maybe not finally, but he'll now be able to put that match, that notch in his belt. And uh, by hero again, I don't know if he's even bothering to watch the replay or what. I think he's kind of just... Uh, a little upset at this point, and, and really understandably so. He, he went up against uh, Mr. Imba himself. And so, you know, once again, <laughs> congratulations to, to Bai Hero for getting this far, but congratulations to Jadong for taking this match as, as uh, handily as he did. <laughs> yeah, actually, just to correct you for a sec, Jadong has won an OSL. He won the 07 Ever OSL, and he won uh, oh, later yeah. on My bad. one MSL, <laughs> the GOM TV Season 4 MSL. So he has one OSL, one MSL. Uh, let's see, what else does he have? He has uh, one World Cyber Game Korea Finals, and uh, he also has a silver in an MSL. And uh, he's probably going to add, uh, I'm going to guess, a gold in this OSL because he is just such a strong player. I mean, I... I, I, I just, oh man, I, I feel bad for Fancy. I mean, Fancy is a good TBZ player, but he's not among the best. You know, Jadong would be um, 
much more difficult position against a Flash or a Lita or a 4GG, those being the top three TBZ players out there right now, uh, then, you know, then he is going to be against Fantasy because Fantasy, uh, you know, he played a solid game against Bisu, I gotta say. That actually surprised the hell out of me, but um, I, I still gotta say he is he's just not on, on Jadong's level. Although, I gotta say, though, I didn't think he was on Bisu's level, so I could just be uh, completely uh, wrong here, and, and all the Fantasy fans will, um, will, will be, you know, laughing at me. But uh, I am looking forward to this OSL series regardless. Yeah, my bad on that. I, I, I just, for some reason, I thought it was two MSLs. But uh, another fact about Jadong is he's won the last 10 games in a row. I mean, he is on a wow. massive streak. Uh, also, he's, I mean... All of his matchups are, are obviously good. He is officially over an 80% win rate. I didn't want to look at his stats before this because I didn't want to ruin it, but right. he is once again over 80% win rate in ZVZ, so he is certainly the king of ZVZ at this point. Also, in ZVT, he is 63.5%, uh, so I mean, just just some things to think about before we do finally do the, uh, the OSL finals of Fantasy versus Jadong. I mean, I, I got to think, Going into this, I, I, I can only imagine that, that Jadong uh, does have a, a definite advantage against a player like Fantasy. Uh, although, I'm not sure the last time they've played <coughs> how he fared against them. But again, I, I can't see him winning, uh, not winning this, this entire OSL. And you know what? Maybe maybe he's going to be a uh, Golden Mouse candidate. What do you think? You think he'll, he'll be able to make it that far? Well, I, I think the way he's playing right now, he is uh, easily the best player in the world right now. Uh, especially now that Bisu took that stumble against uh, against um, Fantasy. And of course, uh, the other candidate who's up there, J uh, Stork, was beaten by Jadong. Although that was uh, perhaps possibly due to the map series, the map selection. Um, although, uh, you know, really, you, you really can't say. And the other uh, up and rising star, of course, Lita, uh, got got just kicked off in the round 16 on both sides. So, I mean, right now, I would say Jadong is the best in the world. And, uh, you know, let all players beware. And, of course, let's not forget. Now, I don't want to spoil it, but you should watch uh, Jadong's performance in the semifinals of the Winner's League um, playoffs. Uh, those played just a couple days ago, also on Biotech. And uh, just just watch it. I mean, I'm not going to say how many games Jadong wins, but he wins at least one, and he plays quite admirably in uh, the others. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for me. I mean, good work by By Hero getting this far. Unfortunately, not too good work in this series. Uh, having the bad luck to be faced against Jadong, who just made him look like a, a very, very poor or mediocre Zerg player. But uh, Jadong just impressive enough to do that, and I look forward to the finals. Uh, one last thing, Jadong has faced off against Fantasy one other time before, and uh, so only one match to go by, which honestly doesn't mean anything, but Jadong did win that match against Fantasy way back when in August of uh, 08. So I guess one last thing, food for thought, if not, uh, well, probably not really that important in the grand scheme of things, but either way, uh, I look forward to the OSL Finals. It'll certainly be exciting, a classic TVZ matchup, and I hope you guys are there to watch it with us. Uh, but until then, I'm out. So, uh, GG. <laughs> See you guys later. GG.
이재성의 원맨쇼 지난주는 정명 선수의 와 정말 파란을 일으키는 원맨쇼였고요. 네. 오. 아 매수사부터 시작됩니다. 네, 이재성 선수 입장에서는 뭐 1호 경기 매수사는 아주 그 마음에 들어갈 수 있는 네, 그런 맵 순서라 볼수 있겠네요. 네, 전반적으로 괜찮네요. 그 테란이 할 만한 맵들이 3차 경기로 좀 쏠려 있는 감이 있어갖고 네. 결승전은 아무래도 이제 전체적으로 어, 이번 시즌에 사용되는 맵을 전반적으로 놓고 봤을 때는 그래도 이제 이 어, 테란이 할 만한 경향이 좀 있기 때문에 어, 정명훈도 나쁘지 않다 어, 말씀드려야겠습니다만 어떤 맵의 순서 자체는 이재동이 좀 괜찮게 나왔어요. 네. 자, 매주사 왕에 대한 심층 평명 단의 등을 파투 순으로 다음 주 토요일에 화면에 보이고 있는 이재동 선수와 함께 지난주 같은 팀 동료였습니다만은 이재동과 함께 뭐 지금 2009년 봄을 그냥 휩쓸고